Welcome to a tour of our latest template for Articulate Storyline, which we call the Game On Template. Now, if you are an instructional designer or an e-learning developer, then one of your goals is to create content that is engaging to your learner. And at the moment, one of the most popular techniques is the concept of gamification. And if you're unfamiliar with what gamification is, it's essentially the act of adding game-like qualities to something that's not a game. So in our realm, that would be adding game elements to a storyline course. And that's where this template comes into play. This template was created to allow you to easily add game-like qualities to your storyline project by simply adding your own content and then publishing. So let's go ahead and get started and take a look at how this template works. Let's begin with the title screen of the template. And as you can see here, we're just using our standard uh, title text, but you can easily modify this on your own. We also provide you with an intro music file. If you prefer, you can switch this music file out with your own audio file, or you can delete it altogether. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next slide. This slide is where the learner will enter their name. We've included a trigger that will prompt the user to enter their name if they try to submit this empty. So as you can see here, it says, uh, please enter your name and click submit. So let's just enter a name. And then once we submit, you'll see the name displayed to the screen and then you'll be taken to the next slide of the template, which is the objective slide. The default layout of this template has six objectives. If you have fewer than six objectives, you can easily delete the ones you don't need. If you have more than six objectives for your course, uh, you can simply duplicate the slide as many times as you need to. So let's move on to the next slide, which is our level select menu. If you're like me, you probably have one or two games installed on your smartphone or tablet. And if that's the case, then most likely you are familiar with the types of menu systems that appear in those games. As you can see here, we have a similar menu system in our template. By default, you can see we have 10 levels. And if for some reason you need more than 10 levels in your course, you can simply duplicate the slide and then you'll have to modify some triggers. If you have less than 10 levels in your project, then you can simply delete the levels that you don't need and then make a few modifications to the trigger system, which I will also show you in a future video. Uh, as you can see, we also provide a little icon in the corner, which is actually to launch the instructions. You can modify these instructions as needed. And you'll also notice that initially only level one is unlocked. Now, once the learner clicks this button, they'll be taken to level one. And then once they complete that level, they'll be returned to this menu. But instead of a lock, the icon will then be a star that they earned. And the label will also say completed instead of level one. Uh, level two will be unlocked at that point, which they can then attempt. Uh, this will be repeated all the way down until they complete all 10 levels. So let's go ahead and see this in action and jump into level one. So what you see here is the intro slide for the individual levels. Again, you can enter whatever title you want. In my example for level one, I am just going to show the different layouts that are included with the template. And then you can see here we have a level one icon. All of this text is customizable, so if you want to call it Module 1, uh, Level 1, Chapter 1, you can customize this to make it say uh, whatever you need to. So as you can see here, here's some of the different layouts that come with the template. Let's just quickly skip through these. And we've reached the end of the level, and as you can see, we have this game style feedback. It says level complete, good job. I'm using one of the storyline characters who is Atsumi, but you can easily switch this out to any icon or graphic that you have. We also provide some game style graphics that you can use and you'll see those in another level 
as an example. Um, you'll also notice we have these two buttons at the bottom of the screen. We can either jump to the next level or we can go back to the main menu. For now, we're going to jump back to the main menu so that we can take a look and see what happened to that screen. So here we can now see that we've completed level one. We've now earned a star and it says complete and level two is unlocked. So that should give you a good idea of how this menu system works. Let's go ahead and take a look at level two, which in this example contains the quiz questions. So here we are in level two of our example. And for my level two, I chose to insert 10 quiz questions. The template comes with 10 of the storyline quiz question types that are formatted for you. Uh, we provided custom correct and incorrect feedback. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So in this true false question, if we submit it and get it correct, you can see here we have this game style feedback that says correct with the check mark. We also provide you with over uh, 20 different banner graphics that you can easily switch out. And we also make it simple for you to switch out the graphic that appears in the center of the screen. By default, if a user gets an answer correct, they see this blue check mark. But again, you can easily switch this out with one of the storyline characters or any other uh, image that you might want to use. But I will be showing you that in a video a little bit later. And you can also change the label at the top, which is simply text. So let's take a look at what it looks like if we get it incorrect. If we submit this, you can see here we have a similar look and feel uh, with the banner, but this time it says incorrect and you are also provided with this X icon. But again, you can easily modify this uh, to customize the look as needed, as well as the text. You can go through the remainder of these questions if you want to take a look at the demo on our site. Uh, for now, let's just skip forward so I can show you what the results slide looks like. Okay, we are back and we are on the final question of this particular level. Let's go ahead and enter a number and then submit. And then next we're ready to continue and since we've completed the 10 questions, we should next see the results slide. As you can see here, we display the user's name at the top of the screen. Uh, we provide a mini scoreboard that provides the results. We have a nice big space here where you can add uh, different graphics. In this example, we are using just one of these storyline characters and we also provide a review button. This template comes with uh, over 20 matching button styles, which you can see probably a little bit later in this video. Uh, but for now, let's just go ahead and click next. So you can see here, once again, we have the game style feedback. This time we're using some of the different game style graphics that are included, including this little trophy and the stars to present a level complete screen. And again, we can jump back to the main menu or jump to the next level. So let's just go back to the main menu again so we can now see that both level one and level two are now complete. And then the user can now jump into level three. So let's go ahead and check out what level three is. And in my example, it's just a simple drag and drop sample. And as this, this example shows how you can use some of the user interface elements that are included with the template to create your own screens. So these little boxes are included and I, and I just use them to make drag and drop areas that you can use. So let's drag this orange to the orange the tomato to the tomato and then the carrot to the carrot and then submit. And we have a correct and a perfect. And then here you see another different type of feedback where we have a bunch of stars lined up. So as you can see, we provide you with a lot of different graphics to where you can make almost an endless number of different styles. And we can now see that level four is unlocked. 
Let's go ahead and take a look at just one more level. Level 4 contains some of the user interface elements that are included with this template. Now in addition to the 13 master slides that come with the template, I've also included multiple UI elements that you can use to create the layouts that you see here uh, in the demo. So you can combine these in different ways to make pretty much an unlimited number of different layouts uh, for your slides. You can also do things such as create pop-ups as you see here in this example. So that's just a quick look at some of the user interface elements that come with the template. Now again, if you want to take a look at what's inside the rest of these levels, uh, go ahead and take a look at the published demo on our website. But for now, we're going to fast forward to level 10. Okay, we're back. And as you can see, uh, we've now completed levels 1 through 9. So let's go ahead and jump in and finish the last level. And in level 10, uh, in my example, I just have the different buttons that are included with this template. So let's go ahead and complete this last level. And then when we jump back to the main menu, you'll notice it now says all levels are completed. You earn this big star. And then all the levels in the background are also unlocked. So that is how this template pretty much works. Uh, when you go to the next screen, once again, we present the user with their name. And then we give them this nice big trophy. And then we get a thanks for playing screen along with the intro music. And again, you can modify this text to say whatever you want to, and you can also add different graphics. But that is just a quick rundown of how our latest template works. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and uh, check out some of the other videos on how to use the template. And again, you can check out the fully published demo over on our website. So thanks for watching.